Hi everyone, today we're using a 1940s recipe for mushroom sucloche.
so it is done. The original recipe said to fill the bell with the mushroom gravy and then you seal the end with toast. Um, this is the only like glass dome like thing I had, which you can't really seal this big of an end with toast. At least I didn't have bread that was big enough to do that. So instead it said to serve over toast if you're not gonna do that, but I wanted to still present it in a way that was similar to the way it was intended to be. So I just have this um, glass dome that actually goes to a cake stand and the recipe said to serve on a piece of scalloped porcelain and this is the closest that I had to that. But this is really pretty and I think this would be a really cool fancy dish to have. Now I really want the proper serving utensils to like present this properly because I think that would be really fun. But anyways, let's try this. It looks really good. Um, when I made this, I at first only used um, half of a cup of water because I forgot that it was supposed to be a cup and I only used half a cup. So I ended up adding about halfway through the mushrooms cooking. Also, my mushrooms did turn a little bit grayish and I think that was because I used a cast iron pan because I didn't think about that happening. Um, but yeah, it still turned out pretty good. And let's try this. All right. So the toast is very crispy and everything. This is really creamy. It's super pretty, like buttery yellow color. This is really yummy. Um, so I was a little bit worried that I need some salt because the recipe does not call for any salt, but it's pretty good. I might still add a little bit of salt just because I like my food to be a little bit saltier, but this is super yummy. It has like a very fresh mushroomy taste. Um, and you can taste a hint of that like white wine aftertaste and then the toast is really just crispy and yummy and it's basically fancy cream mushroom on a toast so that is something that i definitely like so let me know if you tried this recipe because this one is a really fun one um and i think it has potential of being a very beautiful dish to be served um i did my best and i think it still turned out pretty nice even though i didn't have the uh right dishes for presenting it but it tastes really yummy and it's very pretty and yeah i want to make this more often because i think it tastes really good so that's it for this video and i will see you next time bye mm -hmm.